Hey, Lady Deathstrike, am I still the prettiest boy that you know? I'm afraid not, Skullbuster. Not today. <laughs> Hola, amigos. It's Will here from Will's Custom Figures coming at you today with a big bag breakdown of my very own custom Pretty Boy Marvel Legends figure. So please, guys, sit back and relax while I took you through everything to do with this custom figure, all the details and why I made him, and a bit of a comparison with the official Marvel Legends release, which is absolutely badass. So please sit back and enjoy. First things first, guys, why did I make this? Well, long before the Pretty Boy 5-pack came out, and you know what? I really, really, really love the Pretty Boy 5-pack figure that was put out. I decided to create my very own one using the Necron Warrior. I don't know if anyone has seen the McFarlane uh, Warhammer figures, but yeah, this is an absolute beast of a figure. It stands probably, what, about seven, close to eight inches tall. Look at all the detail, the battle damage and the wires and the pistons and, oh man, I'm, do you know what? I'm a huge, huge fan of what McFarlane puts out as far as the Warhammer stuff. Don't collect it myself, but when you need it for a custom, man, you have got a giant action figure that you can really customise and fit into your DC or your Marvel Legends or Mortal Kombat shelves. And of course, here is the official Marvel Legends release. I really, really love this. It's absolutely expertly done. There's a few things that I think are a little bit underwhelming about it, like, you know, it lacks some of the paint detail, the dry brushing, etc., that really make an action figure pop. But nevertheless, it is still a really cool looking figure. And it definitely looks cool when you're comparing it with the rest of the Reavers. So if I'm gonna I'm gonna put him back here a little bit and let's put old pretty boy over here. And of course, you can't have a video with the Reavers without having Lady Deathstrike in there. Of course, she is the leader. And uh, yeah, man, do you know what? I think Pretty Boy might have pulled because uh, Lady Deathstrike thinks he's the most handsome one. Sorry, Schoolbuster. It's time to move over there. <laughs> and um, what made me create this? Well, as I mentioned, they didn't have a Schoolbuster figure, uh, sorry, a Pretty Boy figure that had been released. And I had some spare fodder, some spare parts. I really love the Necron Warrior. And I just decided, you know what? I really want to have this guy in my collection. I have actually made custom um, Bone Breaker figures and other members of the Reavers, which are quite easy and quite a fun custom figure to start customizing because you can kind of do what you want with them. Now, is it comic accurate? Well, absolutely not. It's just me having fun and creating an action figure. However, speaking of that, Pretty Boy does come in lots of different shapes and sizes, and this is just for me what I use for many, many years in my custom figure collection. Now, with the Reavers, with the X-Men, I have seen in the comic, comic books that Pretty Boy can grow. He can increase his size substantially. Now, this one comes with the shoulder pads. It comes with this leg that is slightly smaller and has wires exposed versus this leg, which is slightly bigger. Maybe he's been in a battle. Maybe good old Wolverine, speaking of Wolverine, here he is. <clears throat> Maybe good old Wolverine has been in there and chopped Pretty Boy up a little bit, and that's why he's got all this damage on him. But with a slightly bigger figure like this, it does allow you to get some pretty cool poses on there, and I certainly have done over the last few years. Um, another thing that I wanted to mention as well that I absolutely love is this absolutely badass grenade launcher. This was from, I believe it was the McFarlane weapons pack that was released, and the head sculpt is an IRS WWE head sculpt that I custom painted blue. Let me just get him a nice little zoom in here so you can see it with a little bit more detail. Yep, so there's some custom shades of blue in there. Really wanted to try and get that comic feel and pop. And of course, the head sculpt looks pretty dastardly and evil as well. And here we go with a nice little school photo. Cheese! <laughs> and both of these guys are smiling because in the comic books they really do smile quite a lot. Um, hence the name Pretty Boy. Really, really love the Marvel Legends head sculpt though. As you can see, it's almost like Ash from Evil Dead. I've seen a few pretty good customs using this very head sculpt, so fair play. But um, let's do a bit of a comparison. So you can see here all the wires and the detail coming out, all the dry brushing on the figure, the custom figure on the left. The head sculpt um, is pretty much just black hair, blackish brown hair, and I've added a couple of different layers there to try and upgrade it a little bit. I think this head sculpt is definitely more comic accurate, that sinister, evil look. It almost looks a little bit like Chris Benoit from WWE. Very, very evil looking eyes. And um, yeah, the torsos here is a bit of a comparison. You can see the custom torso has all these really, really cool wires popping out. 
these little rivets and screws and damage all over it. Oh man, yeah, I, I absolutely love this figure. And I guess in summary, just while I'm giving you a little bit of a comparison, let's turn them around. Here's some of the awesome robot details. Two awesome looking pistols as well that came with him. And uh, here is the back on the custom. The Necron Warrior has so many cool details and just dry brushed this to the absolute max. Like look at the spinal column there and a little bit more human and normal looking here. Oh, the official release with Pretty Boy. So nice, I love the little pin studs and it's like repairs almost or access to his circuit boards there at the back, which is a pretty nice little addition. And here we go, guys, for the last part of the video and of this comparison. I just wanted a final shot of them both standing together, nice and neutral. I really, really enjoy both figures. I could absolutely put both of these in my custom figures display and in my Reavers display. I certainly will be. Now, do I want to get rid of one of them? Because the other one, I believe my version is less comic accurate, but looks more intimidating and scary. It pops on the shelf a little bit more. But this one is to scale and certainly fits in and looks a little bit nicer when you've got old school buster or, or wolverine or lady death strike busting in uh, with the rest of their teammates however i want to keep both of them maybe in my mind pretty boy version a has been i don't know assassinated or killed or hurt so they bring in pretty boy b but then both of them get rebuilt and rejuvenated and here we go i have two pretty boys in my collection i'm happy with that the reavers are very very exciting team to work on as far as Marvel Legends and I'm really happy with how it's turned out and guys other than that it has been an absolute pleasure getting to film this video hopefully you've enjoyed it hopefully the lighting and everything else is okay I've just recently had a bit of a move around of my office and um, I'm really really happy with this new setup and area hopefully you guys haven't noticed too much of a difference unfortunately it's getting a bit darker here hence the lighting isn't as good but I'm happy with this video and I hope you guys are as well. Thank you so much for watching for seven minutes. If you want a custom Pretty Boy in your collection, please feel free to reach out. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of this custom. If you want one of these in your collection, I'm available on Facebook, Instagram, or on YouTube. Just reach out and I can talk you through how to make your very own one or I can make one for you. Always love working on some Reavers customs. And other than that, it has been a pleasure. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I would absolutely love to hear from all of you. And from now until the next video, we have a pretty awesome looking Strife coming. Pretty boy and Strife I had done previously. I also have a random custom that is going to be coming up, literally random. Um, and uh, also a surprise, someone that I hinted at a little while ago and I haven't finished for a little while will be coming back and I have recently finished. So very, very excited to show you that in finished form. I'll give you a clue. He might have been in the five pack with this guy. All right, guys, I'll speak to you soon from me and from Pretty Boy. Adios.